So in the next couple of minutes, I'm gonna explain why we don't care that our intellectual property was stolen several times. So in the last couple of months, our courses have been stolen and offered to people on the internet. Our webinar content has been stolen. Our LinkedIn post has been stolen. Even our reviews of our testimonial page have been stolen. I mean, how dumb can you be? But well, it is as it is. Um, and here is why most people would panic and we are not. Because the program we have built is a system. And you cannot just steal or copy or isolate parts of a systematic approach and expect the same results. And that is exactly what has happened here, right? So if you just take one of the pillars that we are using, you will never end up with the same results as our clients are doing. And let me also explain to you why. Because all of what has been stolen and also what could be stolen are the what we call unidirectional content parts, meaning an online course or a webinar or a book or a YouTube video or an audio message or whatsoever, right? But this is just a tiny piece of the overarching content roadmap. And it's also only one tiny input piece because the power in an expert-led coaching program lies in the calibration, in the feedback, in making sure that there is progress control on the way. And this is what we have done now for years and for hundreds of clients that have broken into MBB. And this is where our experience sits and this is where our value comes into play. So no matter what kind of resources you will find online that potentially is copying what we are doing, that potentially is even the stuff that we are using, it still will not get you the results. Because in the end, no one will care about what input you had, but everyone will care about what performance level you can pull off. And going from the one input to the other performance level that you can pull off, you need senior calibration on the way. And not just random senior calibration by people that have done an internship or that have done, um, I don't know, one or two years as a junior consultant, right? But people that actually have absolved got, and, and done the interviewer training at an MBB and have extensive experience in evaluating candidates that are performing in front of them. And you don't get this around the corner and you don't get this on most platforms that are spreading out everywhere on the internet those days. So everyone can call him or herself a coach. But the question is not if they are a coach. The question is, can they prove a track record of hundreds of successful transitions into MBB? Can they prove that they have been on a seniority level that is entitling them to speak with authority? Can they prove that they have a clear didactical concept with an own YouTube testimonial channel of candidates and clients that are the living proof that this didactical concept is taking you from theoretical knowledge into practical application? And if the answer is no, and most likely for the vast majority of individuals on this planet, the answer is no, then potentially it's not the best fit, or at least not if you want to maximize your chances. So it's totally fine if you would like to go for another way, if you would like to go for isolated elements, if you would like to go for a friend of a friend of a friend that knows someone that is a friend in whatever MBB and has worked there for two years and has now found the silver bullet, the magical bullet that will get you there, well, go with them. But if you want to have a boring, proven, end-to-end -end and systematic approach, you might want to reach out. So click the link below the video and let's speak soon.